Hello, it's Hayden Williams here with another episode of Man in the Mirror. It's the podcast where each week I talk to a male guest about the contents of their bathroom cabinets. I have a sneaky look inside and see what are the key items that they would recommend to me. Um, they also tell me more about their life and their work. This week, I'm thrilled to be joined by Andrea Valdo, who is the joint CEO of Juicebox Perfumes, who are an Italian perfume maker. And what I love about Juicebox is their connection with music. Um, each of their fragrances takes a particular genre or a particular decade or a particular musical artist and kind of interprets them into olfactory form. And it's such a clever way of of kind of helping people understand a, a perfume and um, they do it so well. It, it, I mean, it extends to the, the bottles, to the packaging, to the labels, to the bottle cap, to playlists, you name it. Um, Andrea will tell us much more about it in the podcast, but um, I mean, most importantly of all, the, the perfumes themselves are absolutely beautiful. So I hope you enjoy my chat with Andrea. I'll pop back afterwards and um, tell you a bit more about where you can find them on the socials. So for now, here's Andrea Valdo on Man in the Mirror. Welcome along to another episode of Man in the Mirror. My guest this week is Andrea Valdo from Juicebox. Hi, Andrea. Hello, Heidi. How are you doing? I'm really well. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. And and where are you speaking to me from today? Where where are you? Uh, uh, I am at home, actually. <laughs> and uh, that is located uh, where we live and where we 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 produce our product. That is uh, close to Florence, a little town called Prato. How lovely. And for for people who are not so familiar with with your brand and, and I guess particularly Juicebox, it'd be great if you could just tell us a little bit about it and um, yeah, what what makes the brand so special? Oh, oh thank you <laughs> for saying this is so special. Um, actually, Juicebox, uh, it's um, a project that started many, many, many years ago, but uh, we launched uh, exclusively in Surfages in 2016. And uh, it's, uh, of course, a fragrance brand that is uh, the concept is based on the connection between uh, music and fragrances. Yeah. And uh, everything that uh, goes around the product, that means the packaging, uh, the, the idea, uh, the inspiration, uh, the concept uh, around everything uh, is really inspired by music. And if, if people haven't seen um, the juice box bottles, honestly, they're, they're so beautiful, and as Andrea says, that the yeah the, the music concept follows into into the bottles and the caps, and the cap is a vinyl record. The volume of liquid is seventy eight milliliters. I think I'm right. Yeah, correct, correct. Yeah, yeah. It's, Which it's is an homage, to, yeah, to the, the one of the speeds of uh, of vinyl. Exactly. Yeah, and there's you know, playlists you can check out. And honestly, it's um you know I, I have a connection to music in in my other sort of working life and yeah I, I i feel like it's such a great entry point into into perfume and um apart from anything else the juice box fragrances are fantastic and they work with <laughs> dominic you. Ropion and and they've got we can talk a little bit later about some of the yeah but the new just releases to say, yeah we try you know to pick up uh, you know italy is also famous for design so everything we made is made in italy uh, we make it made in Italy and uh, um, we really try to pick up what the best we can find in the market according to the packaging, according right. to the bottle, the glass, uh, uh, the cap. And uh, of course, we try to, to, to find out uh, which are for us the best perfumers. And of course, we, we made a great collaboration with Dominique Ropion that we think yes. is one of the best in the world, oh, yeah. uh, or Julia Rasquinet or Antoine Lee. So we really try to... Uh, make the interpretation of our ideas uh, through this uh, great, incredible uh, artist. And you you work with your sister, Andrea, is that right? Yes, correct, correct. Yeah, it's okay. a typical, classical family business. In Italy, we have yeah. plenty of them. <laughs> Very artisanal and, uh, you know, uh, I hope professional, but at the same time... I'm sure small, it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it is. And, um, so, I mean, and oh, you talk about family and everything. How did you get into 
perfumery what was it something that was in the family or you were interested in at a younger age uh, actually it's it's a funny story because uh, my parents uh, met in a perfumery because uh, my mother Did was the, yeah was a buyer of the of a little chain in milan and my father was uh, the area manager for a big company so actually they met in a perfumery and of course uh, when my sister and myself uh, we grew up we really you know uh, get into this world of since we were you know little little babies so we were playing with perfumes at home we were we had a lot of perfumes and not only perfume but I'm also sure. cream and and yeah. makeup for my sister and uh, and so we really we were born in, in this business and in this uh, it's in your blood right so yeah exactly <laughs> correct yeah. correct how did the transition to to it becoming your your profession? Uh, did, but did actually, you do anything else, or did you start? No, I study away? as a chemical engineer. Uh, oh. So I really that is uh, in, in a way is uh, something that is linked to this, but uh, also not. <laughs> so I tried to make uh, my own career, but uh, after my father, uh, who had his own company at the time, uh, asked me and my sister if you wanted to join the company after experience in other company and. Uh, and that's what we did. And uh, so after more than 20 years now, we are working in Beauty Sun, that is the, the, the mother company of Juicebox. Right, I see. I think another interesting aspect that I'm sure we'll talk about a bit more is it, it, you're back, it, it's not just about Juicebox. You have uh, Tuto Tundo, which is a body care and, and there's a men's range as well. But you also distribute other brands yes, into Italy, is that right? Correct. So yeah, we have two divisions. One is uh, creating products and uh, distribu distributing them worldwide. And the second uh, is um, uh, importing products in Italy and distributing them uh, in perfumeries and uh, in uh, luxury shop. I see. Uh, I haven't been yet, but um, I, I saw, pick I think it was, I don't know if it, it had. I don't know if it was a sort of re rebrand last year or it had a kind of refresh. But the the juice box store in Milan, that your your sort of um, centerpiece store, just looks so amazing. And I think I think from memory, there's a there's a jukebox and the the, the sort of retail theatre around it looks absolutely incredible. And I'd I'd love to come and visit. And it, that's I'm am I right in saying it's in Milan? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, Milan is you know it's the commercial uh, heart of Italy. And uh, we opened this shop in the middle of the fashion district. Uh, okay. So, and uh, we really wanted to have our house there where you can really experience the juice box um, uh, mood and the, the juice box uh, inspiration. Yeah. And uh, you can really have this kind of experience uh, through our, uh, uh, we call it interactive jukebox. So you can really play with music and fragrances all together. And uh, I think it's quite interesting uh, because it's a little bit different from, you know, the, the normal experience with perfumery and it's quite uh, uh, funny and at, at the same time, very interesting. So, yeah. and also the, the shop is, is a very, I, I like it very much because it's a place where you can experience the fragrance, you can, uh, you know, experience music and then the, the connection between them, but also you can have, uh, you know, some rest and, uh, listen to some good music. We also sell special vinyls uh, um, and the special books uh, inspired by uh, all the artists that inspired our uh, fragrances. It sounds amazing. And I think I've talked before on the podcast about, you know, the challenges around retail, but that sounds like exactly the kind of formula to, to keep the, the sort of real life, shopping experience alive you know of course there's a place for buying perfume online and and that won't go away but the, that sort of more immersive theatrical you know get really get under the skin of a brand just you know surely that's a, a way where you get to keep customers and get to sort of delight them and get them excited about the brand so that they they keep coming back yes correct the idea is just to make a place where you can really you know uh get away from the stress and the yeah. job and everything and, uh, you know, uh, take half an hour. Ex exactly. And yeah. uh, really, you know, uh, and also um, try to use all your senses and relax and, uh, you know, have an experience. So this, I think this is the, 
the reason why we go out. And especially now after these uh, two bad years, uh, I think we need, you know, to, to have more emotion and to have uh, more experience, to have, uh, you know, to, to, to feed all our senses. So I think it's, I it's more than before. More. Yeah, totally. I think um, we mentioned a little bit before we came on air, and I thought it was really interesting. You know, the, we know the the connections between music and perfume are, are so strong. But I, you mentioned, I think particularly, we, you know, this podcast talks to to men about you know, fragrance and grooming and, and skincare. But I think you know your thoughts on how music could be a sort of entry point into into the perfume world. I thought was was fascinating. I'd love to. For it, to hear your your view on that yeah i think it's you know um, sometimes uh so i'm was born as i said in this business so i i i know that sometimes it is very close uh uh environment so especially when you start talking about ingredients or you're yeah. talking about formulas or yeah you know. it so can put people I, off can't it I exactly think. exactly yeah. so i think that trying to they, they make the decodification of, of this word through a word that everybody knows because everybody has his own uh, favorite singer or band or you can talk about music with everybody because everybody's listening to music every day. Yeah. So uh, so make this decodification of the fragrance to, to a subject that everybody knows, I think it was a, an easy way to, to attract people to this world. And talking about men especially, uh, they are quite lazy to enter this fragrance uh, world it's sometimes. True. It's true. Sometimes because, you know, they when the, they started to wearing a fragrance, for example, they want to use it forever. So that I don't change my fragrance sometimes, you know. So yeah. Also to, 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 to teach uh, the consumer to understand, uh, you know, how different can be the, 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 the fragrance portfolio and uh, how good to change fragrance sometimes, uh, you know, is something that is uh, quite interesting. And, yeah, and, 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 like and often that. I think we, you, know, you say, it's, it's talking to, not just men, but, to, you know, to, if, when I'm right about fragrance, you know, often talking about, ingredients and raw materials and um the sort of olfactory yeah. vocabulary yeah, can be off-putting and it, I, sometimes it doesn't really help the conversation but actually having you know talking about whether it's you know Kurt Cobain or Prince or Michael Jackson or Bob Dylan or or, or, yeah. or the or the the era where that was associated you know whether it's you know, Beat Cafe or Black Powder I, I just think it's it's such a clever idea because instantly as you said about you know music we music's around us all the time and if, if you talk about you know the 90s grunge scene in seattle instantly you have a it, it's easy to have an un, that's an entry point that's easy to have an understanding about yeah. what the clothes might be what what someone's hairstyles would be what what the textures and the colors and 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 that style Correct. so i think yeah I, i've just I, I think it works re really well and and it's such a such a good, e you know, it, it, it seems like a, a smart way in to then have that conversation about fragrance. And as you say, you know, us men are yeah, often creatures you know, of habit, aren't we? And to just to yeah. sort of break out of that and say, you know, how about try this one? Because, you know, you're going to like it. There's leather in there. There's pepper, whatever it is. Yeah, correct. Instead of, you know, you can wear this ingredient, that ingredient, you, you can be like a uh, strong and crazy like Kurt Cobain. So, you know, you more describe, you know, how you feel about that yeah. or, or the atmosphere you can, you can, uh, you can have when you are in a specific situation, you are in a cafe, like, uh, you know, we're talking about a bit cafe that we are talking about a cafe yes. in the, in the sixties where Bob Dylan were, were playing. And so you, if you close your eyes, you, you are listening to, you can be there. To, to, yeah, exactly. You're, yeah. You can listen to Bob Dylan music. When you open your eyes, you're in a cafe in the sixties. So, and you yeah. try to recreate this kind of atmosphere. Uh, yeah. And of course, you can really understand what we are talking about, uh, or you can agree or disagree, but still you can understand uh, what the fragrance is about and how you can feel wearing it. Totally. Uh, totally. And so I think this is uh, uh, a, a, a different way, you know, to, to, to talk about perfumes and a different way to transmit the, the, the power of perfumes. Indeed, and I think it works so well. Um, 
as you know, one of the things I like to do on this podcast is to talk to the guest about their sort of virtual bathroom cabinet, if you will, and you know some of the some of the key hero products that that you really rate. So I I know someone like Andrea who has a vast experience of you know working in this world. I know is going to have some great suggestions. So it'd be great to tell me about grooming and shaving grooming are there do you do you have a certain ritual and certain products you use with with that area of the face yes of course (laughs) i mean (laughs) i i I don't know uh talking about the rituals uh it means that you are doing regularly so i'm a little bit lazy so i'm not so regular yeah uh, me too but when i do it i really like it because i i like to take care of myself i think older you get more you have to take care of yourself so i think this is the case so (laughs) and so tell me uh, tell tell me about do uh, are you bearded are you clean shaven oh actually um i i um shave once a week but i don't shave totally so i always keep a little bit of shave mm-hmm. uh, so i use i don't know i suppose it's called trimmer in english so it's yeah. uh, like a ra- ra- electric yeah. razor yeah yeah i got you and to help uh, to softer the skin i use oil usually uh, oh, like a nice beard oil yeah it's beard oil exactly so yeah. i because i i suit uh, the uh, the skin I, also I can't see through because if you use the cream you don't really see where you're going with the, yeah. with the trimmer so it's, it's not so good you so end up uh, slightly um, uneven yeah exactly <laughs> exactly <laughs> uh, so um, I I use different uh, brands uh, also but uh, finally I created my product because I was really keen on having something specific for me. So as you said, we also produce a brand called Tutotondo that is grooming for, not for men only, but also created uh, products for men. And uh, we uh, created uh, exactly this product uh, that uh, I love using because I think it's perfect for, especially for my skin. So, well, so you, you, Tutotondo has its own oil, is it? Yes, correct. Ah, got you, yeah. got you. We call it uh, electric shaving oil, something like that. So oh, Okay, I've got you. And for, for people who aren't... Experts like us, Andrea, haha, in Italian. Uh, what tutto tondo? What does that mean? Uh, tutto tondo means all around, and uh, we call it all around. But we wanted to call it tutto tondo in Italian specifically because uh, uh, it's a brand that speaks about Italy. So it's uh, I it's, see. It's, uh, so it's like all around Italy. Things exactly, from all around exactly, Italy. Exactly. Exactly. Ah, okay, exactly. Great. It's a trip around Italy. Uh, I, me, myself are are, uh, are doing and. Uh, uh, we stop in a specific uh, places uh, and town and we discover specific ingredients or places and we describe them through the packaging and through the flavors and through the, the smell and through the characteristic of the product that are linked to the, to the characteristic of the ingredient. So we, we talk about, for example, quinotto, that is a, a citrus specific citrus that grows only close to Genova. So it's the, the region close to France uh, on the sea. Uh, mm-hmm. And as all, all the citrus has energetic uh, uh, characteristics. So of yeah. course uh, we created for this line uh, energetic products and, and so on. So, but specifically okay. for, for men, we created, uh, uh, we are talking about sports and uh, specific sports uh, they are quite famous or they make Italy famous. So one is uh, fencing and is inspired by Milan and okay. it's more leathery. And yeah. uh, we have uh, like bad gel, we have um, uh, bad gel and hair. And oh, yeah. because of course uh, uh, I didn't say that, but I, I, my haircut is like Bruce Willis. So oh, is it? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I don't have arcade basically. <laughs> so we so, don't have to worry uh, about shampoo. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I don't use, but I use it shampoo and I use the molten brown shampoo, to be honest with mm. you. Uh, but also if you use uh, a hair and, uh, and body gel, it's perfect uh, because, you know, it makes only one and they don't have a specific needs for my hair. So of course also it's a, it's a good compromise. I see, I see. But sometimes I think it's good also to take care of the skin or, or of the head, even if you don't have hair. Sorry, my my you know terminology is not so. No, no. That's uh, so. Uh, what do you what do you put what do you put on? I, I use I use your... shampoo. I use shampoo. You do, okay. yeah. Especially now, Molton Brown. That is one brand that we distribute, 
yes. came out with a fantastic line that is uh, very um, bio and very uh, eco-friendly. And uh, okay. it's made with this uh, hydroponic uh, uh, cultivation in the heart of London, so in the underground of London. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They cultivate uh, the... the um, the active uh, active ingredients uh, uh, in the really um, I think was the tube w- once or I don't know what is what was exactly before but it's uh, um, it's all yeah. hydroponics yeah it, oh, yeah it, exactly yeah it's a very cool product and uh, it works very well and I like it very much it's funny I you saying about you know when when there isn't so much hair on top and and still shampooing i have to i mean yeah, i'm yeah. i'm i'm receding at the front but <laughs> there's still there's still some on top but i have to i hadn't ever thought of that i hadn't thought that no, does honestly, it does it go dry then uh, yeah yeah correct this is one right. one reason is this one and the second reason because uh, the skin uh, on the top is softer and of course, right. uh, it's also it's more delicate. So of course, yes. uh, if you make you if you use the shampoo, it, it keeps this kind of uh, it soft. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Nice. Yeah. And what about um, s- other sort of skincare regime uh, for your I, face, I, Andrea? I, of course, uh, uh, it's very important for me uh, the aftershave. Yeah. Uh, aftershave, uh, I have different. Uh, the, my favorite is um, an aloe vera gel. Uh, and mint uh, that is uh, um, produced by S- Lin Sambart. That is uh, a line uh, uh, that is produced in the Caribbean, in the in the small island of Sambart, and uh, Sambart Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, they are natural product, and uh, it's very it's a fantastic product that you can use when you have any kind of um, uh, how can I say irritation. So yep. it can be, of course, uh, shaving is one uh, one <laughs> invitation possibility. But also when you uh, the, you have suntan or you have uh, also a mosquito spot. bite, also a mosquito oh, okay. bite is fantastic right. for that as well. And uh, I think in London you can find it uh, at Fortune and Mason. I think uh, I must check that out. Yeah, St Bart's is quite an exclusive island, isn't it? Isn't it where yeah, like, the Rolling Stones correct. go, Mick Jagger correct. goes, and all that. Correct, kind of correct. Nice, nice, nice. But the product is aloe vera and mint is uh, incredible. It's incredible. I must check that out. And and do you do you use other sort of eye creams and moisturizers uh, yes. and things I, like that? I, I usually have a moisturizer. I, again, I'm not very uh, constant in using uh, <laughs> yeah. the products. But uh, when but when I feel it dry, I really need to use it, especially in the winter. But not only. Uh, I use a. Uh, Cream and uh, I find out recently in a very very interesting um, uh, cream that is from Yves Lom, that is a British brand as well. Yep, I know. Uh, yeah, and that's, that? it, they have a very good product, and uh, I really, I, I for me is is a very great product to use. Good. Okay, that's great. We, I mean, we've talked about fragrance already, and I'm sure it's a difficult thing. So it's probably as easy to say. You know, if it if it's May in in Italy in, in Prato, what what kind of fragrance have, are you wearing today, or might you wear on a, on, on a sort of oh, spring summer day like today? Honestly, uh, of course, uh, uh, I, I like to use the fragrance I produce not because uh, uh, I think is the best brand, but because I, I produce them with my taste. Of course, I like them very yeah, much. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Um, uh, f- Makes at, sense. We just launched two fragrances, uh, and uh, one is called Good Morning, and one is pre- uh, called Spring Dance. And they're very perfect for this period of time uh, because uh, they are very fresh uh, and uh, citrusy, but quite sophisticated. And uh, at the same t- and and long lasting. So they have both things. So they really last all the day, but at the same time, they give this kind of fresh. Uh, approach and uh, I like it very much. I, I like yeah, it, I, both of them. So I usually I'll alternate them uh, in I see. different days. Yeah, but I, to be I, honest I, with you, I'm not, I really, uh, I think again, uh, the, the, the comparison with music is very strong because it depends on the mood. So uh, yeah, really, yeah. when uh, you feel uh, sad, you want to listen specific music, when you feel you know happy, you want to, to listen different kind of music. If you want to cheer up, 
you use a, again another music the same thing is for the fragrances so yeah it's because I, I like a lot of leather a lot and also many of our fragrances uh, have this ingredient i use a lot uh, also if it's uh, hot or i don't mind i use also strong fragrances like uh, black powder for us that is inspired by Kurt Cobain, for great. example yeah it's great or or can be night floor that is uh, something leathery but sweeter they also have some um red fruits that gives a little bit more you know uh, cheer up feeling it, is uh, that is night flow the one that's more sort of uh, clubbing influenced sort of a, no uh, night uh, flow is inspired by rap music so oh, okay. you know that's it's right. this combination of uh, happiness and, and, and you know and and street uh, mood so from from one side is very colorful and we use a lot of fruits and especially red fruits and the other part is very you know uh, down to earth so it's very uh strong and uh leathery and uh, uh ambery so it's very you know th- there's this big contrast between uh, you know the the the, yeah. the head notes and, and, and the bottom notes amazing the oh, one yes, you said is chicky smile uh, is is called is inspired oh, yeah, by right. the acid house the music acid and the club house. in in london yeah. in, in the 70s and yeah, uh, uh, end of 70s beginning of the 80s so this is a uh, really cool and uh, this is uh, something completely synthetic as the you know the mood of the time yeah there was a few pharmaceuticals and synthetics around <laughs> exactly yeah <laughs> and of course uh, it's the first uh, also uh, fluorescent uh, fr- fragrance not the fragrance but the packaging uh, in, in the industry so we are very proud of that oh, and yeah, uh, because right, of course at the time everything was fluorescent so we were yeah. inspired by by that era so also the 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 clothes were were fluorescent yeah the, the so- writing in the disco club or and they were uh, fluorescent so also the our packaging for instance is quite funny because you can see that in the you can use it uh, when it's dark in the bathroom so <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you never way. know you never know what <laughs> So as you were talking, I, I I did get a little tester of Good Morning, which I've which I've got, and and you're you're absolutely right. I've I've sprayed it today. I mean, it's, it was raining, but it's slightly nicer here just outside London. But the Good Morning fragrance with that sort of tangerine and and sea breeze yeah. is yeah. yeah, I think it's beautiful, and it is definitely going to be one that. I'm going to wear this yeah. this summer. I think it's really beautiful, and it, and the, the music connection there, I think, was uh, a, a classical, classical music. class Greek yeah. Greek piece of music. Is that right? No, no, no. no. Uh, you say "Good Morning," correct? Uh, yes, "Good Morning" is inspired by Greek. Uh, Greek, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's a Norwegian composer. Yes, and uh, of course, it's uh, "Morning" is the the composition is talking about how when uh, you know the the, the sun is rising. And uh, when the the, the, the days is starting again after of course the night, so we try to recreate uh, this situation uh, where uh, you can have this freshness of the new day uh, with the, also some breeze because as you know also in, in UK is the, the same. Uh, yeah, it's very uh, you it's know dewy. Yeah, exactly. In the morning it's a little bit uh, drizzly and uh, there are some. Uh, uh, water uh, on the yeah, grass. Yeah, you, definitely, and, you uh, definitely get that sort of feeling of dew on the leaves and and yeah, sort of verdancy and and yeah. freshness. I think so they give a, this kind of freshness, but at the same yeah. time, is a is a very deep fragrance and it's a very long lasting. So we really give this kind because it's very ambery uh, 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 and clean uh, at the end and gives this you know deepness without being so. Uh, diffusive so it's not like something you, you smell from three meters four meters it's yeah. something that is a little bit more <laughs> intimate. Uh, intimate but at the same time you can feel it uh, all the day on, on yourself so i think yeah. it's very it's very nice dominic Ropion a, made it so yeah, another dominic Ropion, yeah, yeah. It's, and it's another one of those ones that just makes you feel happy i think yeah it's correct a real feel correct. good fragrance correct in fact yeah. in, in fact we call it uh, good mornings you know I, Especially in Italy, when you say buongiorno, that means good morning, of course. Yeah. It's something that uh, you, you really have a nice day, you know, you, it's something that you, you feel uh, you, you feel happy and you feel happy to say that to other people. You know? Yeah. Oh, I love it. In terms of 
your appearance, Andrea, and, and, and sort of where you are in your life stage. I think, I, I don't want to assume, I think you're a bit younger than I am. I'm late 40s, I'm nearly 50. I think you're <laughs> younger than I am. But, no, um, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> well, maybe, yeah, maybe. We're, so I'm 49, but it, it, just how do you feel when you about your appearance now and when you look in the mirror are you are you someone that is very sort of happy with what stares back at you or do you ever think oh I might I'd love to change this or I might change that or ever do you ever think oh I I was at my best when I was you know I don't know a different age or something where are you in your sort of evolution of 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 appearance and how how you feel um of course I think it's normal when uh I'm very moody, so of course someday I'll I like moody. myself. Yeah, moody. You- <laughs> so I change my mood very, you know. Okay. So s- someday I'm happy, some days I'm not. So uh, I think uh, that Latin temperament. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, but generally speaking, I think uh, I'm quite. Um, I think older you get, uh, and more you really start appreciating uh, yourself. And yeah, I don't I think, think so much much difference between a uh, part of the hair, of course, and. I'm lucky that I don't have many wrinkles, so I don't really see this much difference between now and 20 years ago. Uh, I like doing sports, uh, That's so good. I'm I'm still, you know, uh, so active qu- quite and quite active and quite fit. I'm not super fit, but uh, I'm not paranoid about the body, so I don't go to gym every day or something like that. But still, I like you know to 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 play tennis. I like to, to mm. go for jogging or something like that. So I really try. Uh, uh, to keep myself look uh, after yourself yeah exactly exactly do you do you f- how do you feel about do you, do you feel like you can it's all that amazing italian food what can you eat whatever you want and you don't have to worry about it do you, do you, or just... no i'm not the lucky one <laughs> no, I'm, no. no I'm not. <laughs> i you know i know uh, um, some of my friends can eat you know three four dishes and uh, they keep are going with the pasta yeah, yeah yeah exactly for three days and then uh, without stopping and they are like a slim <laughs> like you know i'm not like that so uh no i like eating of course in italy it's impossible not to eat and not of to course like eating of and, course. Uh, everywhere you go there's something good and something special to try and uh, yeah but, but you uh, then you, you then have to sort of you know exercise to keep at a level you want to keep at yeah no i think that's uh, because as i said i'm very moody i don't like to routine uh, I, I get bored also when i eat too much so i i, I, I try to find kind of compromise and to mm. you know to, to, to especially when I, I'm, I'm at home i'm not a good cooker so uh, do cook sorry <laughs> and so i'm I, I'm, uh, I'm lucky about that so <laughs> so do you go do you eat out do, do you eat out more I I, yeah. I I like eating now. Yes. Yeah. No, my I, I mean when I I'm at home, uh, I, I don't uh, I don't eat too much because I'm not a good cook. Oh, because you're so. not cooking it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I got it. And I mean, I I, I get a a feeling from you anyway that you know you, you seem like a, a sort of a contented person, albeit moody, as you say. Do, do you? what would make you happy what makes you happy what what are the things that make you happy in life generally speaking you mean yeah i, I yeah. mean it's a diff i need to i realize it's a crazily sort of broad no, but, question but um yeah it could be no, specific no, or, or you bigger you know? uh, i have two things and uh one is traveling and uh, mm. of course, in the last couple of years, uh, was a disaster. Not, not been possible. <laughs> no. But the second one is, uh, riding my bikes. So, oh, and okay. this is something that uh, I, I, I did it more because I didn't have the chance to travel because I'm traveling a lot. I used to travel a lot also for my job. And, uh, so staying at more at home, I, uh, I really enjoy more, uh, ride my bikes and I really love when I, when I do it. Are they are you sort of racing bikes or mountain bikes? No, or? no. I, I they like custom bikes. Uh, actually, one is British, one is Italian. I have two. One is a Triumph. It's quite old one. I oh, just motorbikes. Like yeah, motorbikes. Yes. Oh, okay. Sorry. sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Ah, yeah. Here, sorry. Yeah. No, I just. I know. There's it's, a whole sort of a whole thing. I'm sure very similar to lots of other places, but around where I am, you know, there's a lot of. Um, yeah, sort of leisure cyclists at, at the weekends and, you know, the roads no, aren't that I, big. So I, I, I don't yeah, like cyclists. No, I don't like. <laughs> yeah, that's a whole other no, podcast. No, sorry, it's a, it's a motorbike, <laughs> motorbike, motorbike. Oh, okay, got you, got you. 
So this is something that really like because it gives me like uh, the, the the you know the, the the feeling of freedom and freedom you know, yeah yeah and also gives a little bit of adrenaline as well and yeah. when you you know and do you yeah. ever in in the day well in the days when it was easier to travel which are coming back I guess but did you ever sort of go take your bike or or hire a bike in other countries did that become part of a holiday experience like in the, have you ever done that in the states or anything like that no, no I never done that. No, I never done that. No, no. no. I think it'd be a, yeah, it'd be a great but road trip to suggestion. do. But it's a good suggestion. It's a good suggestion. You can have that. I'll give you <laughs> exactly. that. <laughs> now that now the world's opening up again, and Hopefully, and I hope yeah. it can. Uh, yeah, now it's sort of easier to get around. I'd love to come and come and see the store and and yeah, see all the amazing things that Juicebox are doing in um, in Milan. But thank you so much for your time. It's been such a thank pleasure you. to hear about juice box and, and hear about um the journey in, in perfumery and, and all the brands you work with and um yeah there's been uh, it's been a pleasure and so many great things to to talk about and um i hope to come and see you soon and thanks so much for your time thank you very thanks, much Andrei. i'm uh, waiting for you in our store in milan thank you very i'll much. be over all the best take care bye bye thank you so much to andrea for joining me on the podcast um if you want to find out more about juice box you can do um, they have a website at um, juiceboxperfumes.com. They're on Instagram at juiceboxperfumes, which is um, J-U-S-B-O-X perfumes. So J-U-S-B-O-X-P-E-R-F-U-M-E-S, Juicebox Perfumes, all one word, on Insta. Um, I'll also note in the program notes on the podcast some of the brands that um, Andrea was talking about. So I hope that'll be helpful. So thanks to Andrea and thanks to you for joining me and I'll see you next time on Man in the Mirror. Take care.